You know, uh, as I was just talking to you in that last clip underneath the car, I was uh, I started thinking about previous uh, talks that I had with this uh, the person that owned this, and uh, everything started to maybe add up to a uh, little bit of shenanigans. Not sure, but it makes you think anyway. Uh, these people lived down the street in a, I'll just say, really bad condition uh, household anyway. They uh, actually talked to the girl a few times. Uh, we had a yard sale here and they came by and the girl um, had a big wad of money in her purse, but that was kind of a weird thing. She, she bought a bunch of stuff off of us and uh, I saw this wad of like hundreds like that. But so then uh, last year, all of a sudden, the uh, the vehicles disappeared, and uh, you could tell anyway that they moved out of there and they came in and completely took the whole the whole uh, mobile home out of there, completely removed it. I mean, it was probably just junk salvage. It might have, might have kept the frame, but it was uh, it was one that had been moved around quite a bit. You could tell it wasn't you know stationary by any means. But they were just kind of real dirty. You know, you could tell it was a lot of trash around, and real bad condition. But um, the Subaru was always there. It always seemed like there was no engine in it. It sat really high in the front to me you know when I seen it I thought of it as a car that had no engine or something but um, anyway they the lot got cleared and uh, the lot got put up for sale because I seen it online the car just magically went from there right next door to a guy that I actually know too that lives there um, I picked up a few things from him and uh, I don't know him, you know, I'm not real good friends with him, but I know him. So anyway, I figured, well, you know, I was right in assuming that the car just, they moved it over there because they had nothing else they could do with it. So I figured it didn't run or anything. And, uh, and then I ended up uh, probably a couple months ago, me and my wife were in, uh, in the store and I seen that girl. Know, and, um, she didn't look too good, but I did see her. And I, uh, we start. I kind of exchanged some small talk, and I said, "Hey, you know, you doing? You gonna do anything with that Subaru?" That I, because I had talked to her one other time about it, and she said, and she kind of looked at me funny, didn't really, and then she, said, "Oh yeah, the Subaru. Oh yeah, yeah, we want to sell it." So she kind of like, you know, gave me a little rundown on it. It was like, yeah, you know, it, the car ran and stuff when we got it, ran and drove, but, um, you know, we were going to fix it up. And we put new this, you know, new struts in the front, so that made sense why it was high in the front and, uh, you know, other things. And she said, you know, we just uh, got too many vehicles. So I said, well... You know, how much are you going to want for the thing? Oh, I don't know. Uh, my husband wanted 800 bucks before. And I said, yeah. I said, well, I'm not, you know, anywhere near that. I said, I buy cars for junk, for parts, whatever. So uh, if you decide you want to get rid of it, you know, and you decide what you want for it, give me a call. I gave her a business card. And uh, a couple months went by, but just the other day, she messaged me. They always do, seems like. Um, she said, hey, you know, you want to look at that Subaru? So I said, yep. So we talked back and forth a little bit through Messenger about it. And uh, she didn't like my first offer. And that's when she started, oh, well, you know, the cats are worth that. And, uh, this and that. Seemed to know uh, a little bit or thought she did about cats, right? And it's all because other people feed that into into them, you know, your mind. And now all of a sudden everyone's an expert, you know, but anyway, uh, 
uh, I figured I wouldn't hear from her because she was kind of put off by my offer. But uh, she turned. She ended up um, counter offer. You know, she countered anyway, and it was it was decent. Like I said, it was uh, still something where I could you know I couldn't lose money, but I stand to not really make very good profit. It's sort of a gamble, but. Like I said, in principle, I wanted to get the car. I wanted to mess around with it, see if it ran and drove, and maybe, you know, drive it into a tree or, uh, you know, pull it to the floor until nothing else happens. But, um, so, she said, I'll get back to you in a little bit. So that was in the morning, that was early in the morning the other, the other day. And uh, I was, actually, well, yeah, it was, I was hauling that Ford truck, and uh, this is when, you know, I got up early, about 6.30 in the morning, and, uh, to meet that guy with that truck, and she started messing me, so I said, well, it's going to be a great day, you know, I sell the Ford, and then go pick up the Subaru, use the money from that, to gamble on that, all set, so, later on, uh, I'm told, you know, I'm still uh, coming back from the truck, and her husband calls me and says, you know, hey, you need the title to that? And I said, yeah, of course I need the title, you know, I told you that. She said, your wife already said she had it and everything, you know. Oh, yeah, um, well, we thought we had the title, but uh, it's uh, it's far away. It uh, turns out it's in a storage unit It's five hours away. I'm like, that's kind of a weird story, but okay. I said, okay, so what are you going to do? He said, well, I mean, I don't know. We weren't planning on going down there five hours to get there. I'm like, well, if you want to sell the car, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm here. We, you know, I'll buy it as soon as you give me the title. I'll give you the money, and I'll take the car. So it's up to you, whatever you want to do. So he said, okay, well, we'll have to figure it out. So that's what I'm wondering now if maybe someone said, hey, oh, you know, they said to somebody, well, oh, this guy's only going to give me this much for it. And they said, well, you better cut the cat off of that. That way you can, you know, make some more money and just give it to him without the cat. So I'm wondering if that time that they were saying, you know, oh, we might, you know, it might be like, you know, a couple of days or something, you're going to take a five-hour ride. So maybe they were like buying time to where they could uh, go over there with the with their sawzalls and, and start chopping away and think that they're going to get over on me and that I wouldn't, you know, but I'm not sure whether she remembered that I lived right up the road. So, I mean, I could have potentially caught them doing that because, um, like I said, I drive right down the road, you know, right by it every single day pretty much. I don't know, maybe far-fetched, but possible at the same time, so I thought, well, that's a bust, you know, they're going to they're gonna play around, they're not going to go down there and get the title, uh, so I was like, well, probably not going to get that one anyway, so then uh, hours later, they said, uh, she sent me a message and says, hey, we got the title, we got the key. You want to buy that today? And I'm like, uh, yeah, sitting right here, trailer's hooked up, you know, whatever. All right, yeah, we'll let you know we're down there. They live a couple towns over. So uh, I seen them drive right by. I just uh, hopped in the truck and went down there. Very shaky, these people. Very shaky, nervous, seeming, uh, you know, felt, didn't really feel right. Uh, they're passing the title back and forth to each other. And I'm watching the title change hands, and they're talking, and, oh, you got a lighter, you got a smoke, and this and that. And like, this is kind of weird. Then all of a sudden, they, they don't know where the title is. 
they're both arguing and fighting. It turns out someone put it in the glove box of the car. In the meantime, I don't know. I, I wasn't following, but uh, I got the title out. I looked at it. It was legit. It wasn't in their name. It, it had been sold to them from somebody else, but don't really matter. But it was all signed and everything, and not to you know, not to a buyer. But um, so I said, well, that's okay, and uh, I gave him the money. And like I said, uh, not very talkative. And they said, what now? I said, well, now I have to, you know, have you get out of the way so I can back up the trailer and winch it on. They said, okay, well, and they hopped in the car and boom, gone. So the guy that lives at the house, like I said, I know him, but he wasn't home. He came home in the end and when I had it on the trailer and waved to me and everything was, you know, he didn't say nothing. So, yeah, I was just kind of, after seeing that, and then kind of rethinking about the whole story, I wonder, you know, I wonder if there was some sort of shenanigans going on where, anyway, in any case, they didn't get what they wanted, so... I don't know. Uh, I'm interested to see if the car runs and drives, you know. And uh, gonna have to wait overnight, you know, let that JV weld set up, and fill it up with fluid, and see. Uh, I might have to weld that that back that plate back up. Wouldn't be too hard to do. I could just weld that gap, just fill it right in, and uh, seems like it'd be a running driving car. I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe my new one. New race car. Just get rid of everything. Just drive this. Get one of those hats. You know, what do they call those? Those Irish. What are those, like, Irish uh, old golf guy hats? I don't even know what you call that. But you probably know what I'm talking about. Seems like... Uh, you own one of these, that's what you gotta have, you know? Yeah. Get few, get rid of a few vehicles, put this on the road, you know? Good gas mileage. <laughs> well, hot one today. go to bed and dream about sweet Subarus, WRXs and STIs and bang, boom, out the exhaust. <laughs> this guy's nuts. This guy's lost his mind. Maybe. Still watch, I know. It is amazing, but you still watch. Well, you never know. Day could come. More messages. Maybe another junk car. Yeah, that day could come, you know, where you just uh, you look and you say. There he is. He said it. I never believed it. He said that I would see him on the streets.